The KF-51, Panther, was unveiled by the Rainmetal Group at the Erosatory International Exhibition on June 13, 2022. It has approximately the same armor as its predecessor, the Leopard 2A7. The KF-51, Panther, is based on the Leopard 2 hull, from which it also inherits the powertrain, MTU MB873 Ka 501 V12 MTU diesel engine, transmission and running gear. However, at 59 tons, it weighs about 3 tons less than the latter and has a range of about 500 kilometers. Historian and Brigadier General A. D. Klaus Whitman criticizes the tank's name as confusing in a reference to the well-known Panzerkampfwagen V Panther tank, which was used by the Wehrmacht Panzerwaffe during World War II. Compared to its predecessor, the arrangement of compartments in the KF-51 Panther has not changed, only the loader was removed, and the rest of the crew was seated in the safest possible places. The tank crew consists of three persons, commander, gunner and driver, and there is an additional seat. The digital architecture is designed so that control of sensors and weapons can be instantly transferred between crew members. Each operator station can take over tasks and roles from the others while maintaining full functionality. The tank is equipped with the Rainmetal Future Gun System FGS, consisting of a 130mm caliber L52 smoothbore gun and a fully automatic ammunition feeding system, the autoloader holds 20 ready-made shells. The projectiles can be armor-piercing plinking subcaliber shells and airburst ammunition with programmable fuses. A 12.7mm twin machine gun was fitted, while the current Russian Armada-based T-14 tank has a 7.62mm twin machine gun, but the story is the opposite with anti-aircraft machine guns, a 7.62mm remote-controlled anti-aircraft machine gun in the KF-51 Panther and a 12.7mm core in the T-14. All machine guns are remote-controlled, giving safety to the crew. The tank is equipped with modern electronics, having a multi-channel sight with thermal imager, automatic target tracking and laser rangefinder. Thanks to the CIOS panoramic optical sensor and the EMES main combat aiming device, the commander and gunner can observe and engage targets independently of each other both day and night, with stabilized day and IR optics with integrated laser rangefinder available to both. In addition, the crew has a 360 degrees, 24-7 view of the vehicle's surroundings via a display in the combat compartment. There is a fully digitized NGVA data transmission system that guarantees next-generation operational capabilities and automation. Also, the tank has a launcher for Hero 120 reconnaissance UAVs and kamikaze drones, capable of firing up to four such drones at a time. There is also a quadricopter on top, with an air dwell time of 30 minutes, which helps the tank to see the target even out of sight to the tank the KF-51 Panther is claimed to have three layers of defense, passive, reactive and active. The innermost layer consists of all welded steel armor covered by passive armor modules. The second layer consists of sensor-based reactive armor and the last layer consists of the Rainmetal Active Defense System ADS. The tank has protection against all types of ammunition thanks to the AMAP protection, which performs both an air defense function and a defense function against various anti-tank shells or subcaliber ammunition. This system has been adapted even against anti-tank shells fired from above. Sensors recognize the threat from the glow of the missile's engine and use an aerosol curtain that camouflages the tank in all light ranges the Panther eliminates threats from above with rainmetal taps, the top attack protection system. The tank features anti-tank homing missiles that attack into the roof of enemy tanks, such as the FGM-148 Javelin. In summary, the KF-51 Panther has the world's most powerful gun, strong armor, and a dozen combat drones.